We start with a 100 pi surface area imploded sphere, divided into eight planes creating 16 points on the circumference, 22.5 degrees apart. The Sanskrit Fibonacci curve on the 100 pi surface connects the eight planes. Each intersection of the eight planes in the Sanskrit Fibonacci curve defines the elemental points. These elemental points are knobs and nodes that can be defined by a triangle formed from the point of the intersection between the 100 pi surface and the Sanskrit Fibonacci curve on one of the eight planes. This triangle extends from the node down to the torus equatorial plane and then at 90 degrees to the central zero point. The zero center is the collision point of the north and south poles opposite spirals. This cancels out the spin and therefore the AC frequency replacing it with a DC singularity zero point. This 3-4-5 triangle displays the ratios of zero matter to light and light to matter. From the area of the triangle defined by this right triangle with the ratios of 3 to 4 to 5, we are able to calculate the resonant frequency of the element. This is done by dividing the ATV by time. The area time volume, or ATV, is the product of the ratios between the 3, 4, 5 triangle. This allows us to visualize a proportional concept and is equivalent to a parable. It is not the exact truth, but it is the story that enables us to understand the underlying principle of the familial and group relationships between zero matter, light, and matter. The model of the elements describes the parable of family relationships that exist between zero matter, light, matter, sound, crystal form, positive and negative charge, paramagnetic disposition, and form. The ATV represents the resonance of the elemental point, its charge density, and therefore its gravity. Gravity is the inverse relationship of an osmotic effect, which is created by a lower charge density element, defined by alternating current, being attracted towards the higher charge density of a singularity zero point, representing direct current. The ATV illustrates the elemental charge density by representing the area that the fixed charge occupies. The elemental resonance is equivalent to and defined by the melting point of the element, which is defined by the ATV triangle area. When the resonance is divided by time, represented by 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds, and normalized with the speed of light using a factor of 7.5, this produces the rectified base resonant frequency. This is important because once you know the resonant frequency of an element, you have the metric with which to manipulate matter, as demonstrated by the figures of Chaldi. When all the elemental nodes are plotted according to their valences, the elements correctly align to their base frequencies. These base frequencies, which are also defined by sound and color, are indicated for each of the eight planes of the model. The eight planes also indicate the monad, dyad, triad, and tetrad crystal forms of the elements. The underlying ground plane on which the torus is placed accurately defines their positive and negative elemental charge. This ground plane also demonstrates the paramagnetic and diamagnetic character of the elements. The disposition of the sorted elements once correctly placed across the torus model, according to their octave progression, take on their unique planes of reference. The noble gases, which are classified as inert, occur on the same plane. Hydrogen is also a gas and occurs at the zero point of that plane, which is the point of greatest charge density. Hydrogen, therefore, has the greatest charge density of any element.